What we are going to do today is called Tiramisu al Bacio. It is a recitation of the Bacio di Dama uh, in a modern tiramisuki. We will make a printed biscuit, a diamond uh, short crust with some uh, coffee powder in it. And we will also have a ganache, a tiramisu ganache. And in the center, we will put a coffee, uh, bitter coffee jelly. Let's proceed with the tiramisu ganache. Heat up the cream, bringing it to a boil, of course. The other ingredients are white chocolate, cocoa butter, icing glass, softened, we have some marsala, some va mascarpone cheese and savoyardo biscuits. As soon as the cream starts boiling, we can pour it on our base. In this case, since it's the cream is not a lot, we can put it straight away. As it becomes creamy, we're adding the alcoholics. The Savoyardo biscuits. And finally the mascarpone cheese. We're putting our ganache in a pastry bag and we'll let it stabilize in the fridge for four to six hours. We made a short crust diamond based with coffee, so an Arabica co uh, coffee short crust with a little bit of cocoa, three millimeter thickness, and then we will cut it. 
and lay it on a floor of paper. Upside down. Upside down because we already have the base. Lay it down. It's very important to use forest paper because, or forest map because the church press will stick to the paper, to the map, and will keep the shape. Now we're ready to cook them. We're going to cook them at around 140-150 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's proceed now with the mounting of the tiramisu. We are stuffing with our ganache. Forming a little square with a hole in the middle. Proceeding by putting some gelatin made with pectin, coffee, and water. It's fundamental that it is nicely bitter quite strong because it will balance our biscuits. And close them. We'll now work on the perimeters by evening them out. Eliminating the excess and giving it a square shape. Now our tiramisu al bacio are ready. I always advise to leave them, let them stabilize in the fridge for about one hour before serving them.